Okay, so we are back with uh, part two of making this uh, woodworking table in SketchUp. And so we've done our legs, we've done our tabletop. Hopefully at this point you're feeling really confident about um, how to draw basic shapes, uh, how to select, you know, by triple clicking, and then right clicking, making a group, making a component. Hopefully you're understanding the difference between a group and a component. Um, we've made two components now. And you can see them over here. That's the symbol for a component. And we have one component of a tabletop, and we have four legs in there. So we're ready. F we're ready for our uh, next steps. I apologize if you guys hear that noise. Um, they're working over in the remodel room there, but we'll we'll forge on. So what we want to do now is kind of make a um, a skirt, if you will. It's a woodworking term for underneath this table. We have a straight edge in here, so that's still 90 degrees up and down. We put our tapered on the outside. And so what we're going to want to do is draw the rectangle. We can uh, orbit all the way around to the end here and take a look here between the two end legs. And so we're going to hit R for rectangle. I want to click on this corner, and I'm going to bring it down here. And all the way over here, that was 2 inches, remember, because this leg right here was 2 inches. And so if I stop in the midpoint, that push should put me at 1 inch. So in between the legs like this, if you're hovering just the way I am, you should see in the bottom right corner down here, so watch here in just a second, right there that should say 9 by 1. 9 inches in between the legs, and then 1 inch of a thickness for this piece. So that's what we want. I'm going to click there to end it. If you want to type in 9 by 1, that'd be fine. Uh, but that's what you should have in between your legs if you've done everything right in your drawing, if you want to kind of check yourself. So i got a new rectangle there. I'm going to go ahead and hit P for push-pull. And I'm going to bring this down, and we want this skirt, we're going to make it 6 inches. So I'm going to bring it down, and now I'm going to hit 6, and enter. We're kind of starting to make this skirt for our table. Back to uh, the space bar, so that gives us our select tool. Triple click, then right click, and we're going to make this a component. And we'll just keep our names simple for now. And we'll call it end skirt. Okay, and we're going to hit OK. And so we're happy with that being a component. We need to make a copy and bring it down here. And so now, we like it flush to the inside of the legs. So I want to pick the spot that's going to let me bring it right to this corner. And so that would be right over here. So I'm going to hit my Move tool, which is M. And then I'm going to tap Control to make a copy. I'm going to grab it right by that corner. And now I'm going to orbit back this way a little bit. So I can see right there, and it should pop up. You can see that it's on a red axis. Okay, so it's inferring that I want it straight down, so that's good. And I want it flush with this. And then I click that in place. And now I have um, two end skirts for my table as well. All right, now we are going to do a uh, longer skirt. Um, let's, let's make one change to this, actually. So this is the beauty of components. One's a little too thick. So we're going to hit push. I double-click that with my select tool. I'm going to hit P for push-pull, and I want to make that a half inch. So let's change that to, um, I'm going to push-pull it half inch because it was one, and so that leaves me with the half inch as well. Space bar, click outside of that, and you can see that it changed this thickness too. Only problem is it uh, moved it a little bit, and that's no problem, so we just click on it, hit move. We don't want to make a copy this time, we just want to move it back to flush. And so now our skirt is in place. Um, we're back to half inch, which I think will work better for what we got to do. And now we need to draw our long side skirts, okay? So we're going to hit R for rectangle, and I'm going to click right there on the inside of that leg, flush to the inside like our other piece. Hover down here. We should be able to go to the midpoint again, and that's going to be at half inch to match. So I can click right there for the midpoint. And now I'm going to push P on the keyboard for push-pull. Select that surface, and we want to bring this down. 6 inches, Sp uh, space bar for the select tool, triple click now, then right click, and not hide. We want to make it a component, and we'll call this side skirt, because we did end. Okay, and so now we've added that piece in there as well. And we want to make a copy. So M on the keyboard, tap Control. We're going to grab it by this corner. 
because I want to move it straight down here and line it up flush on the inside. Hit spacebar, click off of it. And so now we're kind of starting to build our table out here. Now we're going to add a couple more features. We'd like to make a nice little arc right here. All right. So what we're going to do is while nothing is clicked, so all of our components are closed. I'm not, I don't see any of this little dotted box where that would mean I'm working on a particular piece. We want to click off, make sure everything is closed. We're going to tap T on our keyboard for tape measure. I'm going to zoom in and I want to do now a guideline from the bottom of this side skirt. I'm going to click on that edge. I want it to come up and we're going to bring it up two inches. So two and then hit enter. All right. And now hit space bar to get our select tool. And what we want to do is we want to edit one of these side skirts. But I want to edit the one where I made the guidelines. So I'm going to double click this to open it. All right. And then what we want to do is we're going to make an arc that goes this whole length. And so we're going to go over here. We got to, we got to select a particular arc tool. So we're going to click there. And this one right here is the one we want. Okay. The two point arc. So I select that and zoom in because you don't want to get the wrong one of these. You don't want this one. You don't want this one. And when you should see this dotted line around your component, that means I'm editing it. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. And I want this corner. Zoom out. Zoom in at the other end. And this corner. So I selected those two points. And now it tells me what do I want my bulge distance to be. And you can make it anything you want, really. But what we're going to do for this is we want to go up to that guideline we made, which is two inches. Okay, so you can see I'm hovering right there. It says two in the bottom right, and I'm on my guideline, which is exactly where I want to be. And we're going to click that. Pretty nice. You can see some straight parts to this arc. So I'm going to hit Control Z, which means undo. You could also hit this little curved arrow back here. We're going to undo it. I'm going to select my hit space bar, select my uh, pointer tool, and we're going to go back to this arc. And before we start drawing the arc, you can see down here that this says 12, which means we have 12 sides to our arc. I want to change that. I'm going to change that to 24. So before I start drawing, I'm going to hit 24 and enter. And now my arc is uh, I'm going to have 24 pieces to it rather than 12. And we're going to repeat the exact same steps that we did. Click there. Click there. And you can see how much smoother my arc looks. We go back to our guidelines, should say 2. We're going to click that, and that should be exactly what we want. And we want to get rid of this bottom part. So we hit P for push-pull, and we click on that. And it should say that that's our limit. It should kind of gray out. Okay, if not, you could go down to this corner and tell exactly where you want to take it to. Either one will work. And that should make that disappear for you, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to hit space bar for select. Click outside of my component now. And everything should be closed, looking kind of nice here, okay? And then um, all we're going to do still is now we're going to add some drawer fronts. And I've got too many guidelines going on right now. And so I'm going to go over here, and I believe it's in display, is that right? If you click on display, you get all these options. Well, one of them is just this blue button right here. So instead of having to um, get my erase tool and get rid of all these, I can just go to this, and that's going to get rid of all the guides that I've already made, okay? And that's what we want to do there. And then we're done with display for now. We're going to make some more guides immediately here. So this piece was three inches. All right. And what we're going to want to do, or that was six inches, excuse me. We pushed it up to some here to here should be four inches. And we're going to make some three inch drawer fronts. So I grab my tape measure tool and I'm going to go to this top edge up here somewhere. Click on that to come down. And what we want to do is let's come down. Um, Let's do a half inch down, see what that looks like. So I did 0.5 down on that guideline, looks pretty good. And then we're going to go back to that guideline we just made and kind of make another guideline. And we want that to be down three inches. Now I hit three and enter. And so that's where my drawer fronts are going to be, is kind of in there. And our drawer fronts are going to be, let's make them... Um, Let's make them 15 inches on these drawer fronts. And so if we're doing 15 inches, that adds up to 30. And we remember that the whole length of this was 48. So we should be able to go probably a good, kind of doing some math in my head. 
Let's go three inches in and see how that looks. So I'm clicking there to keep hit three and enter. So now I've got a vertical guideline coming in. Do the same down here. Three and enter. And we'll see where that puts us. Should do pretty good. All right. R for rectangle. Click at this intersection. Bring it down. And we said we're going to do 15, right? So if I'm looking down in this bottom right again at my dimensions, by sliding on this, I know my last dimension is going to be 3, so I can actually click anywhere. Right now, we're currently at not approximately 9 and 7 sixteenths by 3. We want to change this front number and not the second number. So to change the dimensions of this rectangle, we can simply type 15. I don't need to put anything else and enter, and it keeps this rectangle the same. Let's go ahead and select that. You can uh, drag a window like that, or you could triple click. And we're going to make this a component and call it a drawer front. Okay, and hit OK. And what I want to check real quick before we go too far is I want to make one copy quick to see if it's going to fit and look nice. Yeah, it looks perfect. So we can hit Escape. We don't really need to do that yet. Hit Spacebar for the Select tool. Double click that component we made to open it. Okay, we want to give it some depth, so we're going to hit push-pull. And let's bring it out a half inch. So I clicked on that, now I'm going to hit 0.5 and enter. And we want to put a little bevel on this again. We won't be as precise with this bevel, so I hit L for line tool, midpoint. And I'm just going to kind of do approximate there. That looks good. We'll go with that, okay. Um, hit escape. I hit space bar. Okay, to get my select tool, I'm going to click this front just like we did on the bottom of this table. Click this front to tell me, to tell the program, SketchUp, that I, this, is the, this is the path I want you to follow. When I go and select the follow me tool, I already selected that surface. So now when I check right here, boom, takes that whole bevel off all the way of our uh, drawer front. All right. Um, this is a little bit of an advanced technique here, but we're going to do something kind of cool. We're going to hit spacebar to get the select tool. So I'm in my component editing it, right? And I want to kind of group this together. So now I triple click that, and I'm making a group inside of my component. And you can see on the outliner, it made a group underneath of and in this component. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the circle tool. And we want it to be right in the middle of this. So I'm going to hover. Until it says midpoint, I'm going to leave it there for a second. I'm going to go over here and hover and the midpoint. So I'm telling it to infer these two points. And then I kind of drag it in, and it's staying locked into the inference. And down there, I guess it's not really doing what I want it to do. So let's actually go ahead and hit T, and we'll make a guideline and do it a little bit more precise. All right, now we can hit circle. Hover over this midpoint. And then go down until it locks into this center of this guideline that we made. And right there, we're going to make a little bit of a drawer pull. And so let's go ahead and hit, um, it wants to know the radius that I want. Okay, so we want the radius to be 0.5 to give us a diameter of 1 on that. Hit P for push-pull. And let's bring that out 3 quarters of an inch. So 0.75, enter. And so now we've made this little knob. We're going to triple click that and make it a group. So now I have two groups inside of this drawer front component. Click outside the drawer front, and now we've got um, our drawers. So let's uh, then go ahead and make a copy of this now. So I only have to click it once because everything's already inside my drawer front component. And we're going to bring a copy down here. So hit M for the Move tool. Select that. Tap Control on your keyboard to make a copy and not just a move. Slide it down, line it up with our guidelines, and there we've got our drawer fronts. Okay, a couple things are bothering me. So let's do this. I'm going to double click this uh, drawer front component. This seems too big to me. I don't really like how this turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of there. And the nice thing is it did it out of both. So I'm in there. Go back to your circle tool. Hover over the midpoint like we did. Slide it down to the guideline. Click that to be in the center. And that was a 1-inch um, knob that we made, so we did a 0.5. We're going to make that a little bit smaller. We're going to do 3 eighths of an inch. 
So up until this point, we've kind of been using uh, decimal points for our dimensions. You can actually use fractions. So I'm going to hit 3, backslash, 8. You can see how I'm typing that in. And then I'm going to hit Enter. And that will give me a diameter of 3 quarters. That looks a little bit more proportionate to me anyway for this drawer front. So now I'm going to hit P for push-pull. And I'm going to bring that out. 3 quarters seem way too big, so let's pull it out a half inch. So 0.5, Enter. Hit spacebar for your select tool. Triple click that knob. We're going to make it a group again. So now I've got a new group inside my drawer front. That looks a little bit more proportionate to me to everything that we're doing. And I'm ready to get rid of some guidelines again. And now we've got these nice drawer fronts as a part of our table. And um, we're just about done. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess just add this on there quick. What I'd like you to do is, well, let's go ahead. Let's save it. So we'll save it and we'll have a part three to this. All right, so that's saved and now we'll head to a part three.